Hey, welcome back to Studio 13 Live. So, Erin, I've got a question for you. Are you a party goer or a party thrower? I'd say I'm kind of both, but I'd be more of a party thrower. Oh, I love I'm a to party have goer. All so right, you're come on. I'll come to the party if you invite me. I will, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Well, today we're going to learn about some awesome recipes, so we're so excited. Our special guest is here with us today. Welcome. Hello. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah for sure. Thanks for coming. Jason Koshin from Missinate. You're going to get us some great cocktails, right? And mocktails. Yeah, and mocktails. i got a mocktail for you at the end. Yeah. Awesome. For dry great. January yeah. liqueurs. And I know you craft a lot of this in-house, too. You make liqueurs. You make Amari, tell us all about that. Yeah, so um, when I took over the bar program in April, I was like, I want to do something that I, I'm not seeing in uh, Seattle. Um, so I started making Amari. Um, I started with the rhubarb that you'll see in the first cocktail that I'm making. Um, and then just kind of expanded from there. I've got an Alpino, I've got a spruce tip, I've got a limoncello. Um, but yeah, a little bit about Mezzanote. Um, we focus in the northern Italian fair in the mm. heart of Georgetown under uh, Chef Jason Stratton. Um, we've got an amazing patio that's covered for the winter that we take the cover off uh, for summer, so it's just beautiful. Feels like you're in an Italian villa. Nice. Um, and we just installed a disco bathroom uh, last <laughs> week, I so love we've a got bathroom moment. so we've got mirrored tiles on the inside, <laughs> and on the wall, and the ceiling, and oh. then a disco ball. So look, it oh feels like gosh. you're inside a disco ball with a disco ball. Because sometimes the restaurants and bars, like the bathrooms, have yeah. forgotten land. So I love that you all take yeah, took yeah. a moment. It's pretty to make amazing, it and we've got a tallow disco on. Uh, loop in there. Okay, that's a special seven. place, especially if you have a cocktail <laughs> exactly. going in. You think, wow, this is right, really right. cool. Or trippy, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, let's check out this first cocktail. Um, yeah, so this first cocktail is called the uh, Yada Yada Yada. It's a throwback <laughs> to one that I did this summer. Um, <laughs> it's what we call an equal parts cocktail <laughs> in the business. Um, so we're going to start with uh, three quarters of an ounce of Brovo gin. Uh, Brovo is located in uh, Woodenville, and they have a really cool program there. They do gins, they do vodka, they do Amari. Um, and yeah, just a nice London dry gin. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Strega, um, which is an Italian uh, liqueur that actually translates to witch. Um, oh, um, witch cocktail. Yeah, so it's actually from the town <laughs> Benevento. Um, it came about in the late 1800s, and the lore is that's where all the witches Is this going to put some kind of spell on us? We'll see. Uh -oh. <laughs> wait, so, wait, I'll uh, be back tomorrow. <laughs> three quarters of an ounce of that. Uh, then we're going to do three quarters of an ounce of my rhubarb amaro. This is actually the first Ooh. amari that I crafted. Uh, nice and spring-centric grapefruit, orange zest, uh, rhubarb, obviously. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Um, and explain and what amaro is. Amaro, I mean, it can be pretty vast. It's essentially a bitter... Uh, liqueur. Okay. Um, okay. So, okay. Delicious. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's an aperitif, so before dinner, sometimes it's a digestive um, to settle the stomach mm -hmm. um, after dinner. Um, and then we're going to finish with uh, just some fresh lime juice. That Great. looks good. Um, and then... Is this a hangover cocktail or not? <laughs> um, yeah, actually... It's, How many can you have? Yeah. It's, it's mostly booze except for the lime. I mean, it's all okay. booze except for the lime juice. So it's good um, for sipping? Yeah. Oh, well, baby sips, yeah. maybe. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of like when you have one after a drink. Oh, it's been great work. Yeah. <laughs> we already knocked our heads yep. just thinking about it. <laughs> Sober. <laughs> Story of my life, for real. All right. We'll and then little... is this in the teeny glasses? Or yeah, glasses? usually we do it in a coupe, but I'm doing one cool. for two glasses. So Perfect. we did these little uh, Digestiv glasses. So and then what's at the bottom of that glass? Um, that is a uh, Luxardo cherry. Oh. Ooh. It's like a little prize at the bottom. Exactly. <laughs> a special treat. So that is for those the, who make it there. That is the yada, yada, yada. Amazing. Oh, my goodness. There Thank you, you so much. Okay. There you go, my we'll lady. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Jason. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that is so oh, yummy. That's really easy going down. Yeah, it goes down a little too easy. For <laughs> that's why I said, what's the hangover factor? <laughs> because, or the sugar intake, I guess, yeah. down water in between. Right, right, right. I like how it's a little, it tastes a little fruity too. That's so yeah. Good. The rhubarb in it. Yeah, you get the rhubarb with the orange zest, the grapefruit zest. So um, good. This yeah. feels then, like summer fresh, kind yeah. of. Yeah, and you've also got a winter cocktail, right? I do, yeah. So this one's going to be a play on the classic Negroni. Mm -hmm. um, I'm calling this Do Amari Rejuvenate Everything because I believe they do or dare. <laughs> Um, so we're going to start with uh, one ounce of Peloton Mezcal, um, so just kind of a smoky agave mm -hmm. uh, tequila. Ooh, I love agave. That's I like that good. glass that you have it in. Yeah, so we're just going to stir this one. Uh, essentially, the main rule for bartending is if it has juice, you shake it. If okay. it doesn't, oh, you stir it. Um, good to know. We're learning so much today. <laughs> <laughs> um, next, we're going to have a Campari, uh, classic uh, Italian bitter liqueur. Um, do. Half 
an ounce of yeah. that. Uh, next up, we've got uh, grapefruit infused punta mess. So I take uh, grapefruit, uh, take the swath off of one grapefruit, um, put that in uh, the punta mess. Uh, punta mess is an Italian sweet vermouth, mm -hmm. um, and it actually stands for one point and a half. Mm. So one point sweetness, one half point bitter. Ooh, I'm sorry, do uh, three quarters of an ounce of that. Let's get this Amazing. one. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> this one's actually all booze. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, maybe not. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then we're going to do a quarter <laughs> a ounce sip. of uh, my house Genepi. Um, so Genepi um, is something, it's a liqueur that you'll find in a lot of bars, um, mm -hmm. but I was able to track down the actual flower, which is uh, uh, related to wormwood, um, but without cool. the psychedelic properties. Nice. Of Sweet. Um, so that's all in there. So we're gonna have some I don't think we're going to have time for the mocktail, I which know. is fine, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll, put, we'll put the link to the mocktail online, too. Okay. If you're doing dry January, yeah. he does all the most delicious beverages. Yeah. I have to say, too, I studied abroad in Italy. I was not drinking uh, drinks this classy during my I study abroad like it's time. it's become a lot cooler now, right? <laughs> I it's think so. New. There's so many good, like, artisanal cocktails. All right. Fancy. This is great. Oh, my gosh. And y'all are located in Georgetown. Yes. So if well, anyone wants to visit, Mezzanote. 1210 South Chinote. Bailey mm -hmm. Street. Great. And you can check out all these recipes on yeah. our website, fox13seattle.com. You can just click on Studio 13 links. I love it.